Well, with the spring weather that we've been having comes the threat of severe weather and thunderstorms. Don Guthrie's in the First News Weather Center. It sounds like we may be getting those thunderstorms, but hopefully not the tornadoes. Uh, exactly right. We're going to be not totally in, but close to an area tomorrow where there is at least a slight risk of some uh, severe weather. This is what the rain looks like on radar right now. Moved in right around midday. Still have a ways to go. Uh, not only on the PA side, but here in Ohio as well. Things beginning to clear off a bit. Western Ohio, still a lot of clouds around. And as long as those clouds kind of hang around all night long, can't rule out a passing shower. The next batch of rainfall is already heading this direction, moving into southwestern Indiana. That may be here late tonight or early tomorrow morning. And as a matter of fact, by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, rain already moving in right around uh, uh, six on uh, our future radar, future forecast with temps as well. And as I mentioned that earlier, the temps may rise a bit overnight. Get a break by 10 o'clock, but then once we head into tomorrow afternoon, the cold front arrives. We'll be well up into the 60s and maybe bearing down on 70, depending on how long uh, the rain stays away. And once you see those uh, areas of yellow, that's a pretty good idea of just about when the cold front pushes through with some pretty heavy rain and maybe some thunderstorms as well. Once we head into tomorrow night, things begin to dry off. Still on the mild side, mid to upper 50s. But then as we head into the weekend, temperatures cool back to more normal levels for this time of the year. Everywhere you look close to home, temperatures are in the 40s, uh, mid 40s, even the low 40s, 41 at Newton Falls, 48 down at East Liverpool at this hour. And we did 51 officially up at the airport today, right at the edge of my three degree guarantee. 54 was my guaranteed high last night at 11. We started at 36 this morning, 54, 34 for normals on this state. 44 at the airport now, and a dew point of 42 sets the humidity at 93%. And right around a third of an inch, a little bit more than that, not only at the airport, but here at the station in Boardman as well, where we are at 47 degrees. So the rain that's out there now will gradually taper off. We might drop another degree or two before rising a bit overnight and can't rule out some showers as long as those clouds hang around. Uh, rain around for tomorrow, uh, scattered thunderstorms as well. And the thunderstorm part may not happen until the afternoon hours, but some of those uh, rain showers may be around for your early morning drive to work. It'll stay windy as well. Tomorrow night, showers around early. And by the way, there's that slight risk that I mentioned in yellow of the uh, severe weather, but the storms don't know enough to stay inside the lines. The green area indicating general thunderstorms. Showers early tomorrow night. Skies clear. We end up at 37 by daybreak on Saturday. 48 Saturday, windy, cooler, at least partly sunny. Sunday looks like a pretty good day with mostly sunny skies. Mid 50s. Another rain uh, event likely on Monday, maybe hanging over into the Tuesday morning hours. And for now, we'll keep Wednesday and Thursday dry.